today and today we're gonna have a game of line of fire on the Commodore Amiga now this is a game I didn't have back in the day not played it on any system now this game is based on the arcade game I think it came out in 1990 by Sega which is a an arcade shoot em, shooter shoot em? what the fuck is a shoot em? Um, sort of like Operation Wolf, that sort of thing. But it's Sega had to make their own version. Now, before I start, I won't be reviewing the arcade version because I can't get the arcade version working. Which is a shame, really, because I would have liked to have had a go. Oh well, so I have reviewed this on the major 8 bit systems, i.e., the CPC, Commodore 64, and Spectrum, and I've been pretty disappointed up to now. Now, can 16-bit territory save the day? It's a US Gold title, so I doubt it very much. But at least we've got some cutscenes going on here, so they made some sort of effort, I guess. At least you can skip them. Um, it's a single disc game. So we get um, exit from enemy bases. So we get, you know, as I said, some ni nice touches there. So, so far they've made an effort. Now, how's the game going to play? This is mouse. you got to you use your mouse on this game. Which makes good makes sense, actually, with a game like this. Now, obviously, fire button one is your machine gun. If you push um, your second mouse button, it, you could use it as a grenade. Fucking hell, there's a lot going on here. I'm dead and you get five credits right so you get light so plenty of five credits then that's quite a lot and you continue that's good right now it's loading oh now we got these right so so sound effects are pretty good with the machine gun So with this version, oh they're dead, okay, okay, oh, bit of a delay there, so I think with the Spectrum and CPC version you have to share the grenades, but this version you get your individual grenades. Ah, oh, for that fucking crash for a second there. Destroy the enemy jungle base. Okay. Graphics? I don't know, they look sort of weird. There's a there's slowdown going on it. Why can't I use my grenades? Bloody hell, I was pushing my right mouse button there. There's slowdown going on here. And I'm dead again. Yeah, there is slowdown going on. Now, I usually play 8 bit versions and then I come to the Amiga version and sometimes I'm quite what, disappointed. Now how does this fare this time? I'd rather play this version over the 8-bit versions. It's not fantastic, but you've definitely got a game here that's playable. I sooner rather, yeah, I'd much rather play this version than any of the 8 bit versions. It's just a pity I can't get the arcade version to work. Oh, what's happening here then? So, what do I have to do? Shoot the enemy or shoot the helicopter? Shoot the helicopter. Oh, I've done it. I've blown up the helicopter. 
Right, there's always a bit of a delay going on here. Right, okay, you can skip skip this part. You know, where it shows you the um, stats. Exit the high speed boat. Now, this is where it struck, well, on the Spectrum version, this is where it did struggle. Ignore that. You know, there is slowdown, but it's not horrific. That medic, so you can pick up medic. Ooh, what's that? So, whoever programmed this, you know, they haven't done a half bad job. Why can't I fire anymore? It's not firing for some reason. Well, it's across there, right there. And I like the fact you can use the mouse on this game. And. I think you. I think to play two players, it may require two mouses or two mice, I should say. And believe me, I, I with a game like this, I would rather use the mouse. Dead. Gets to the point, doesn't it? Dead. Game over. Right. So on my first go, I got to level three. So it's not overly difficult to get you into <laughs> yeah so if I'm playing a version out of the home computers I'll certainly pick the Amiga version there's definitely a game here but full price I would definitely want to pay full price for it but remember it's an arcade conversion so you'll be paying premium prices for it and it's a US Gold game, so create me materials also to this version, which they did on the CPC and Spectrum versions. Don't know who did the Commodore 64 version. I didn't see much of that game because it fucked up and you only got one life and it crashed. So, I would have liked to have seen the arcade version, but I, as I said, I can't get that version working. So, the next best thing will be the Amiga version, I guess. Yeah, don't worry about the 8-bit versions, because, well, if you're going to play an 8-bit version, play the Spectrum version. But, uh, um, this ain't a bad game, actually. This isn't a bad game. I would certainly come back to it. Maybe budget price I would pay. For. Maybe I would have paid 10 quid for it. Maybe. There is definitely a game here. Um, they got the these little scenes they made some sort of effort with it you know graphics don't look too bad you know I've seen better but for US gold quality it's rather good for a US gold game actually compared to shit like Outrun yeah it's alright actually it's okay it's nothing special but you know it's definitely playable there is a game here um, yeah, it's alright, it's okay. Anyway, I'm going to end this now, thank you so much for watching, until next time, and goodbye.